What's going on guys? Alex here with 814 ADC and today I'm going to be doing my full review of my ZJL custom fixed blade for you guys. So I've had this in for a couple weeks now. Um, I did not do a, uh, an unboxing video. I did a little unboxing short um, just because I, I forgot why I didn't do a video. I think I was just really busy around the days that I got the knife in. So I really didn't have any time to sit down and you know film for you guys. So I just did a little short. Um, some of you might have seen that, some of you might not have, but I got a new custom fixed blade in um, and I've, you know, I've carried it enough and I'm ready to do my full review on it. And like I said, it is from ZJL Knives right here. There is Zach's Instagram and website uh, and I'll leave links to both of those down below. Um, this is the first, you know, rendition, the first uh, experience I've had with him and he does great work. This is a fantastically made little small fixed blade. Um, fit and finish is really nice. Uh, I, you know, picked out the the materials and you know the um, basically the scales and the, the size. This was basically kind of a, a custom build for for what I asked him to do, um, and he was you know great in all aspects of it. He was very. Um, you know, very responsive to messages on Instagram. He was great with giving updates while the build was, you know, certain steps throughout, you know, um, the, the, the knife making process is what I guess I'm, what I'm trying to say. Um, and Zach is, I believe a 23 or 24, 24 year old. Um, so right around my age, I believe he is a school teacher, uh, and he does knives on the side in his garage. So I really, um, respect the, the side hustle that he has going on with knives and he's made a lot of really, really cool models and a lot of really, really cool configurations. Um, his website, so all the models that you find in his like shop uh, section on his website, they are sold out, but it just, I'm gonna leave the link to the website just because most of the times, or you know, how I uh, approached him was I just messaged him on Instagram. I'm sure you could find his email. Look at that, his email is on there. Um, like I already showed you guys. Um, so you can kind of email him and, you know, message him and just approach him with maybe you see a build that you like that you want him to make a different variation for you. Um, but I'm going to leave the website in the description down below just because it's, you know, a great resource for looking and seeing what he has. Um, and you know, the way he's done different materials and handles and, um, the different models he has, uh, cause there's, you know, probably, I don't know, 35 different, um, well, let's see, there's one, two, yeah, I'm not even gonna count them. There's a lot of different models put on here and a lot of different configurations, so you guys can go check it out, um, you know, and see what he has going on. So, without further ado, we're gonna get into my custom fixed blade. Uh, you guys can see right now, it is already popping out some of that beautiful Nebula fat carbon. Um, I decided to go with that for the handle material just because I love Nebula. Never had it before. But I've seen it a lot in, you know, on Instagram and on different knife models coming out. And I think it's my favorite fat carbon. Uh, I like purple haze a lot, but I think the, the red, white, and the blue just pop really, really well together. Um, and I think it looks fantastic. So this will definitely be my favorite of the bunch. But a little quick rundown of the specific version that I have. So he is calling this a small spade. Um, I did notice he has a couple other ones on the website. Um, and actually the one that he made for me is if you, um, yeah, if you scroll on through, there's some other small spades, um, but he made mine a little bit shorter than his, you know, typical models he does. Um, so small spade, Nebula Fat Carbon, this is made with S90V, um, which I decided to go with because I've heard really, really good things for the edge retention. And I figured this would be kind of just a model and a knife that I use for, you know, opening packages, you know, pr pretty much what I do with a lot of my folders, but I wanted it to have great edge retention. So I wasn't half, having to, you know, keep up with it and, you know, uh, maintain it a whole lot uh, for the use that I was going to put it through. Um, it is a machine satin and its date of birth was March 7th of 2023. So I've had this for a little over a month. And I've carried it a ton. You know, I, I, I've used it a lot, well, a lot for my standards. You know, I've opened a lot of packages with it. I've taken down a few cardboard boxes with it. Um, and it's a beautiful little knife. I guess I haven't showed you the blade yet, but there is the blade, machine satin, 
if you guys can catch I, I need to get some better lighting in my room um it is like raining and kind of being like really crappy and windy out right now otherwise i would probably try to film outside because i love when i'm on the side by side i can get all that natural light um, but it's kind of one of those crappy days but you might be able to pick up on some of the grind lines um that's one thing that i noticed right away with zach's work is how well he has you know sort of mastered his grinding abilities um, they're just real crispy real clean but this is a pretty small knife um, i believe how he manufactured this is it's 5.5 inches overall with a 2.5 inch um, blade length so when i was talking to him about you know the size that i wanted and stuff like that uh, the knife that I kept, you know, referring to for size-wise was the um, Chickadee by Jacob Creates. And if you guys have been long-term viewers of the channel, you can probably remember when I got mine in. Um, this was back probably early of last year. Yeah, it was, it was probably late fall, early winter of 2022. Uh, I had it for a little while and then I'm selling it to go towards, um, I use that money for my uh, fiance's engagement ring. So I think the sale was worth it, obviously. But I kind of had a... I always had this like thought in the back of my head. I really wanted to get another EDC fixed blade. Um, you know, something roughly that size and you know, nice and EDC friendly, easy to conceal on the belt. Um, so I, you know, reached out to Zach. It was actually really kind of an impulse buy. Um, I don't even know what made me like. I had not. It was just some random night I was on Instagram and I saw Zach posting some stuff on his stories and whatnot. And I was like, you know what? I want a fixed blade. I want an EDC fixed blade. So I reached out to him. And, you know, one thing led to another, bada bing, bada boom. Uh, we had, you know, I sent him some money for the deposit and, you know, so on and so forth. And he had to order the, um, I think he ordered the steel and the fat carbon in because he didn't have any of those in stock. I was either going to go with uh, Magna Cut or S90V, but I figured S90V is just, you know, you don't see it a whole lot on knives and you're seeing Magna Cut a lot. And that's nothing against Magna Cut at all. Um, I just thought S90V would be kind of cool, be a little different. Um, so I went with that. And then I already kind of explained my reasoning behind the Nebula Fat Carbon. I just really like the combo. Um, and you guys might might be able to tell, might not be able to tell, but there he used black pins. So it kind of blends in well with the, um, the Fat Carbon. And he actually it ended up, this one right here is in the black Fat Carbon section. Uh, and this one here is in sort of a blue black so it blends in real well uh you can't really see it too much but has some decent thickness to it for a, a pretty small and stubby fixed blade um so yeah that's kind of my story behind it uh it was definitely an impulse buy um do i regret it no I, i've really enjoyed the knife um i've really you know liked carrying it but i don't so spoiler alert as much as I love this knife and as much as I basically customize it to be my own, you know, perfect little small fixed blade, I don't think I'm going to be keeping this. Um, and I know like, oh, how could you love your fixed blade so much? How could you, you know, enjoy it that much? And it's just, I guess, bad timing. Um, and I'll explain that at the end of the video when I talk about price point and stuff like that and what I recommend it. Because right now I can already tell you I can absolutely recommend uh, Zach's, you know, uh, fixed blades and stuff like that. Uh, the work is phenomenal. It's not because I'm, I'm you know, unhappy with, with the product. Uh, it's just bad timing. So I'll touch on that later in the video. Um, but I just kind of wanted to, you know, I guess get that out there. But we're going to jump into, I, I guess I've kind of already kind of gone over uh, materials. I'm just so used to doing folder reviews. Obviously, I've done, you know, numerous fixed blade reviews. But I'm just so used to doing like, I do, you know, 95% of my reviews are folder reviews. So, um, but I already kind of went over materials, you know, Nebula Fat Carbon, Machine Satin, uh, S90V, overall length of five, 5.5 with a 2.5 inch blade. Um, so I get a three finger grip on here, but you have a really nice indented area there for your pointer finger. And the way the blade is set up, you, it's just a really nice natural restriction point that kind of sucks you in uh, and, you know, makes it really, really comfortable. Um, so I guess we'll talk about ergos right now because there is no, no action with fixed blades. Uh, you, can't, you can't talk about the opening and closing methods. Um, so ergos are really good. I definitely, you know, prefer a four finger grip on most knives. But when it comes to these small, you know, easily concealable fixed blades, I definitely don't mind the three finger grip. 
just because it makes the knife smaller, um, you know, and it's it just makes it a little bit more easily concealable to kind of chop off that last little bit there that your your pinky finger would be on. Um, and you know, once you get used to it, it's really comfortable. You just kind of get it in a nice saber grip. Uh, you can definitely hammer grip it. And for a pinch grip, he has sort of like indentations milled away there. I don't know if you guys are able to pick up on that or not, but it's kind of stepped right there. So that's really nice for pinch grip cuts. Um, but yeah, the Ergos are great. It definitely has a nice contoured feel to it. Um, and like I said, the, the blade stock is definitely not thin, um, but it comes down to a really, really thin edge. Uh, it definitely thins it out nicely. And again, that grind, uh, Zach's grinding method really comes into play there um, because, you know, it's, it's definitely not the thickest fixed blade I've ever handled, but it's definitely not the thinnest either. Um, but just feels great. You can really do some great push cuts with this. Um, it's probably not the best for, you know, cutting through, uh, I can't think of the word, like shipping labels or anything like that, because you kind of have to get that point way up in the air. You definitely could, uh, but this is just a fantastic box opener, um, Amazon package opener. This thing can really cut through cardboard very well just due to how thin it comes down to that grind. He puts a great edge on it. Uh, this thing is very, very sharp and came from Zach very, very sharp. And it's just a very usable, has a nice big belly. Um, so I guess we're kind of talking about the, the blade, you know, Ergos too. But they kind of all go hand in hand. Uh, so really, like, there's no complaints at all with the Ergo department. Uh, definitely just hugs my hand very well. Very, very comfortable. Uh, the way he has everything, you know, milled and contoured and finished with the fat carbon is awesome. Uh, no complaints at all, really, from, from the Ergo standpoint or from the blade, the blade. The blade geometry, blade edge, you know, sort of spectrum with it. Uh, that's all up to par as well and, you know, exceed exceeded my expectations. So no complaints there. Um, talk about carry real quick. If there's one thing, if I'm going to be honest, if there's one thing that I can knock, you know, about the, the product, it's not even Zach's knife. It is it's the sheath. I don't know if it's just kind of a faulty one, um, but mine, it'll go in easily sometimes. Like... See, now I can't get it in there. See, it's in there right now, but it's definitely a little bit of a struggle, and I've definitely uh, kind of carved up the inside of the sheath a little bit. The blade will come out with some, uh, you know, Kydex shavings on it. And I don't know if that's just, you know, my, like, user error. Um, like, the actual retention when it's in is nice. Like, I can't pull on it very well or very easily. Um, and it's not, you're not going to shake it free or anything like that. Like it sits in there very well. And the actual, like once it's seated in its, you know, uh, position that the knife should be in, it, it rides well, it carries well, and it, it has great retention, but it's just kind of a, I don't know. I've just had a little bit of trouble sort of putting it back in. And I don't know, like I said, that could be user error. Um, but sometimes it just doesn't seem like it wants to sit right. So I don't know if that's both of us, but see that, that just had a little shaving on it, but it goes in. I kind of like to push it. Um, and then you do have, I can get the seat right. You do have a uh, sort of thumb ramp up there. You can just pop it off, but uh, that's just the only thing that I can kind of complain about is I don't know, maybe the sheath could have been made a little bit better. But again, that could be partially my fault for not, you know, learning how to seat it in right. But I feel like, you know, every time I try to put it in, uh, I take the knife and I take the sheath and I, I try to ride, like I put the spine of the blade right on the top of the sheath and I try to ride that the whole way in. And that's usually how I can get it in, you know, for the most part, pretty secure. Um, but there are times that that doesn't even seem like it wants to work. But, you know, those two times it worked okay. So that's just my opinion. Um, but the sheath is, you know, the, the Kydex quality is nice. It's It kind of has a soft, supple feel to it. And then you get a, oh, as I drop the knife, um, you get a soft loop that goes over your belt. It came uh, backwards, so this clasp was over here when I got it, but I switched it because I carry it. Uh, I, I usually take my 
belt buckle and pull it over out of the way and it kind of sits right where you know right in the middle of my uh not right in the middle but a little bit to the i guess left of my uh pants buckle um and that's just it sits well there for me it rides well and you know overall weight on this i don't know what they you know exactly weigh i have not weighed mine um but this package is really really nice it, it like i said it just it carries well it disappears um i have a little bit of a belly and it, you know I, I can't feel it when it's there um as opposed to some other fixed blades that i've had in for review and i've carried and stuff like that um like the, overall the package is i mean it, it fits kind of in my hand like it's it's not a big package at all.